Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. I am back with another challenging program. So today you need to write the python program to print a star pattern. That is you need to print star in the right triangle shape in this shape. So this is our today's challenge. I know we already did many videos on this topic. In fact our channel is famous for pattern program right. And I think I already did 3 to 4 videos on this particular pattern. Then what is challenging in this? We can write this program in a minute, right? Okay, then let's add a twist to this. Till now in all the pattern programs, we used loops to print the pattern in the required shape. We can print the pattern using for loop or using while loop or you can use single loop or nested loop. We can write this program in different ways. And in all these methods, one thing is common that is a loop. We used loop in the program, single loop or nested loop, but we need a loop to print this pattern. Now here the challenge is loops are not allowed in your program. Okay, you need to print this pattern without using loops. Alright, then pause this video and think a solution for this problem. How to write this star pattern program without using loop. And one more thing, don't use multiple print function and uh, print this pattern that is not allowed. Alright, now if you have any idea how to solve this problem, then share your ideas with us in the comment section. And for those who are not getting how to solve this problem, don't worry, let's solve this problem together. So first let's see what loops will do in our program. If I want to execute part of code again and again for different value or until a condition is met, then for that we can use loops, right? And now we need alternative way for that. We want something which will execute part of code again and again for different values. When I think about this, that is if I want to execute a part of code again and again, what I can use, the first thing comes to my mind is functions. Function allows us to execute part of code again and again, right? By just calling that function, we, we can execute the body of the function again and again, right? But here, I don't want to call the function again and again. If the function calls itself, then that is the best alternative for the loops here. If a function calls itself, then what we call that function? It is a recursive function, right? So the alternative way for loops here is recursive function. We can use recursive function to print this star pattern. If a function calls itself or if the function contains the function calls to itself, then those functions are called as recursive functions. I hope you are familiar with the recursive functions and how it works. So I will give you the link of all the related videos in the description box. You can go and check that. So now here we'll use recursive function for printing this pattern. So first what we need to do is we need to open a python file. Let's take a python file. First step is here we are writing the program for the user input. That is we'll ask the user to mention how many rows he want in the output. So here first let me take a variable and I'll take the input for number of rows. I'll ask the user to mention how many rows he want in the output. And I hope you know why I'm using int function. If you watched my previous pattern programs, you will know that. And next, as I said, we'll use recursive function. That means we need to define a function. And here I'll define the function at the top of the Python file. So here I'll take def and uh, let me take function name as pattern. And here I'll take a parameter, I'll take parameter name as num, that is the number of row, I'll pass how many number of row I want in the output. I'll take the parameter name as num, you can take any name here. And inside this, so this is a recursive function, right? In the recursive function, we'll have base case and recursive case. Base case is nothing but the stopping condition for the function or the where we need to stop the recursion. And here for this program, the stopping condition is when num value is 0. If you enter number of row as 0, then we don't want to print anything, right? So here first I'll take the condition if num is equal to 0. This is the stopping condition. If num is 0, that is number of row is 0, 
that means i don't want to print anything so i'll just take return keyword in the function when return keyword is executed it will terminate the functions okay it will return the value to the caller of that function and it will terminate the function when i just write return that is nothing but i am returning value none here when number of row is zero we don't want to print anything that's why i'm using return it will return nothing none next if you want you can take else here or you can skip that because we used return keyword and in the else part we need to take the recursive case so what is the recursive case here what i'll do is first i'll divide my pattern like this this is one part and this is the second part we'll print this using print function and here we can see we'll get this pattern when num value is 5 number of row is 5 and here in the last row we can see 5 star so i'll print star multiply 5 so it will print 5 star then after that here I'll call the function again for this part. Here we can see number of row is 4, right? So here I'll call this function that is pattern again for num minus 1 or 4. First what I'll do is I'll call the pattern function itself and I'll call this function for num minus 1. That is I'm dividing my pattern into two parts, right? One is this part and second one is this part. Here we can see number of row is 4. Okay, that's why I took num minus 1 and here and in the next line I'll print the next part that is this part here what I need to do I need to print star how many times so multiply num times here if num value is 5 it will print 5 star at the last row first we need to call this function after that we need to print this because this part comes first after that this that's why we need to maintain this order Okay, so now we are done and now here if I call that function, function will execute only when that is called. Okay, so here if I call that function and if I execute this now, here we can see number of row. If I enter 5, here you can see the pattern. If you want space between the stars, then here you can give a space after that and if I execute this now and like this and here you can see the pattern. I know because we used a recursive function understanding the flow of the program is a little bit tough so I'll explain you how this program works so here I'll take the program like this this is the program first in the program this line will be executed num because this is the function definition and the function definition will execute only when it is called so the execution of the program begins from here it will ask the user to enter the number of row for example if i enter number of row as 5 so now num value is 5 next it will execute the next line that is the function call pattern of num so here num value is 5 so when this function call is executed the control will go to the function definition here control will come here now here num value is 5 and we are calling this function so it will execute the function body if num is equal to equal to 0 now here num value is 5 and it is not equal to 0 so it won't execute the if body it will go to the else part and it will execute this pattern num minus 1 and this is the function call right here num minus 1 is 4 pattern of 4 this is a function call so what it will do is it will pause the execution of this function now first it will execute this function call that is pattern num minus 1 now this is paused and it will execute this function for num value 4 okay so again it will check whether num is equal to 0 no it is 4 so it will execute else part and here we can see another function call right pattern num minus 1 that is pattern of 3 so now it will stop the execution of this function and it will execute this function call so pattern pattern of 3 it will pause this execution and it will start the execution of this function definition for num value 3 it will check num is equal to 0 no so it will execute else part and in the else part here you can see pattern of num minus 1 that is 2 so it will execute this function call first so it will pause the execution of this function and it will execute this function call so now this function definition will execute for value 2 num value 2 this is paused now it will execute the function definition for value 2 
if num is 0 no so it will execute this else part and here we can say pattern of num minus 1 2 minus 1 1 so first it will execute this function call it will pause this function execution it will execute this call first function call first so now again this function definition will be executed so num value is 1 here so it will check whether num is equal to 0 no so it will again execute for this pattern num minus 1 here we can see a function call in this function definition so it will pause this execution and it will execute this function call so here this definition will execute for num value 0 it will check if num is equal to 0 true so it will return okay it will return nothing none value to the function where it is called this function is called here right so it will return none to this function so now it is executed and here none will be returned to here after that here we can say print star num so it will print a star to the output screen okay after that here we can see it is a print function by default in the print function end value will be slash n so it will go to the next line so control will be in the next line after that here we can see the call for this function is present here so it will return the control to here okay here control will come here and it will next print the next line so here function call is executed properly so it will print this here we can see star and num so it will print two stars already this star was printed in the previous function call and now it will print these two stars now here the function execution is completed so it will return back to its caller so this function is called here so here this is completed the function call so it will execute the next line so it will print star thrice because here num value is 3 already in the output screen we have stars like this in the next line we will get 3 stars next this function execution is done here we can see we don't have any other statement to execute it will return back to its caller the caller of this function is here okay so control will come back here so here function call is executed properly so it will execute the next line in that function that is print star num times that is four times so we already have this in the output screen so it will print four star in the next line after completing the execution of this function it will return back to its caller that is here okay so here we can see this function call is executed properly then it will execute the print function it will print star num times that is five times so we'll get in the next line we'll get five stars like this after executing this function now here we can see all the statements are executed in the function so it will go back to its caller that is here and it will stop the execution of the program because we don't have any other line after that because we don't have any other line to execute after this uh, function call so it will stop the execution of the program that's why we got the output like that okay so this is about the program and how it works so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care